Till then, I'm hustling, hustling Till I'm number one, no discussion You thought she was, but you wasn't You hit on me cause I'm buzzing That's your auntie and cousin what is up guys, back it again with a brand new video. I know I have been gone for a little bit, but we are back at it, back on that grind. And today, we're going to be making something that I guess like it has been done before. Eric Whiteback, I'll plug him down below and also I'll put up the picture or video on the screen. But today we are going to be making a white beast Halloween costume. And for this, we are going to be making a Supreme box logo. So I am literally going to be a Supreme box logo. Now, I'm too old to be going trick-or-treating, but I may use this costume in a video in the future. If you guys want me to do something with it, comment down below, like wear it somewhere or whatever. Let me know down below. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into this video. Make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe, and let's go ahead and make this costume because I think it's going to look pretty nice. But let's go ahead and make the costume. As usual, got to show you guys the outfit. We have the Nike Prestos on right here, just red and white, some H&M jeans right there. We've got on this NBA jacket. Really? Really? We have on a jacket for once, which I never really do, but we have on this NBA jacket. I got it for like 15 bucks from like Burlington or something. I don't know. And then we have this Tommy Hilfiger shirt right here. Now we gotta go to the craft store. All right, so the good thing is these things are four for a dollar, but I would need like 36 of them, so that's like $8. Or they have this, which is $4. And this is like 35 inches and it's like one big piece so i'm thinking i might get one of these and then the matching color although i like this red better it's more of a supreme red but i think it might just have to be this one i may have to get some extra pieces so i think i'm gonna go with this and then eight of these pieces all right so they only have one of the packs so i am gonna get a bunch of these i think i'm gonna get like 30 of these so let's get all those They only have 21 of the color that I want, so I guess we have to go with the other red. <laughs> Forgot we needed white, so I got eight pieces for the letters. So I think this is gonna be like $11 for all of this. All right, so I am now back from the store. So let's go ahead and let's go make this thing. So right here, we have three of these red felt packs. They were $4 each, I think, and it's 36 inches by 36 inches. We have three of those, and then we have one white one for the letters. All right, guys, so if you guys are a little bit confused, I went to two different stores. The first one I went to, they didn't have the packs of, like, the larger sheets of felt and I ended up putting back the individual pieces at the store I was at because I just, I figured there was a better way. So of course I went to a different craft store and I ended up finding the sheets. I didn't bring the camera because I actually went back like two hours later from those original clips. So if you guys are a little confused, that's what happened. I also got string because, or whatever the heck this is called. I am going to try and sew the pieces together. I think it'll be a little bit me less messy than glue and hopefully a lot easier. And I stole my mother's knockoff sewing kit. So <laughs> this is what we're gonna attempt to use for like needles and stuff. Cause they were like $4 for one needle. For the letters, I have the Supreme stencil from my Supreme pool. Go check out that video if you guys have not seen it yet. Okay, so this seems to be a pretty big piece. I have a whole little picnic. <laughs> this is a little bit shorter than we need it to be. It's literally like a foot shorter than it needs to be. So I guess we're using two pieces on the bottom. I don't know. All right, so I just measured how big of a piece like I need for like the top. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece. Hopefully it's straight when I cut it. And uh, yeah, wait, I forgot a little Halloween decoration. <laughs> a little pumpkin in the background for decoration. So here are the front and the back pieces right here and right here. And then we have the two side pieces. So these like smaller parts right here and are right here. Like, like the little scissors? Skizza. Let's try it. Let's try it. It worked. 
Okay, now we're just gonna keep doing that, I guess. Oh no, oh no, I messed up, I messed up. Come back, come back, Jack. I'll never let go, Rose. Is that the movie? Alright, so I'm just about to get to the final stitch right here. This is what we have so far. So, this is the side, this is the front. Wow, this is actually working. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have officially completed both sides and the front. Alright, so as you guys can see, I finally finished the box, I guess you can say. Alright guys, so it is the next day, and as you guys can see, I have it on. I made armholes, obviously one on each side, you know, two arms. So the stencil is right here, we are going to go ahead and make the letters now So sorry if there's like a lot of background noise. I'm gonna talk like a lot louder, but thank you guys for watching this video Everyone is staring at me who goes by but let me know down below if you guys like this costume and definitely Send me a picture or do a video something if you guys want to make this for Halloween It honestly took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take but I mean it looks pretty good I think all right, so that is it for this video guys make sure you guys comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with a new video oh. Bye.